So this is my 1998 Stuart Stevenson uh, M1078 LMTV. It's a light, medium, tactical vehicle. So it had 4,800 miles when I bought it. So not a lot of usage in the military. And it now has uh, 5,600 miles just in a few months. I've driven it quite a bit. Oh, it came with a new old stock uh, cargo canopy that I just installed yesterday. So all the bedsides fold down. It runs a Caterpillar 3116 diesel with uh, Allison seven speed transmission. Um, it's uh, air over hydraulic type of system. So uh, for example, the cab tilt forward, uh, spare tire drops down. Um, you can raise and lower the suspension, has a CTIS. So central tire inflation system. So you can air up or uh, decrease the pressure of the tires on the fly um, through a push button system in the cab. And I've just done all of the basic maintenance, regular maintenance that I possibly could just to get it up to par. Um, I installed new cab air ride suspension. You can see right in here, uh, fixed air leaks, put on new tires. I was changing tires 30 below weather here in Minnesota and got sick of that <laughs> real fast. So I ordered all new tires that wasn't cheap. And then just touched up a bunch of areas, small stuff like fixing the washer nozzles for the windshield, just numerous little things. I had keys made for the factory door handles. Uh, the military didn't issue keys with them. So I found a guy out in uh, Maryland who does that. So it's got an 1100 pound crane that can still uh, swing out even with the canopy on it'll swing out which is kind of cool So you can see the crane works pretty slick. The Rokon, gosh, I think it weighs a couple hundred pounds, 250 pounds. I've got some extra junk on there, so maybe a little more and no problem for the crane. So a couple other things that are cool about this thing. There's a, a tool storage here. I've got a 30,000 pound uh, tow strap in there. Um, you've got your D-rings for towing here. I don't have a winch for the front. That was something I was hoping to do. Um, in this side, you have your reservoir for the washer fluid. Uh, you've got your snorkel up top air intake filter here, uh, dipstick for the transmission here, oil fill and transmission fill here, coolant there. Uh, the oil dipstick on this model is tucked way up under there. So you can get to it without tilting the cab, but it is a hassle. It's a little less hassle tilting the cab. You've got your battery box here. This is running on two inline. 12 volt battery, so it's a 24 volt system. Air tanks here can drain off. Ooh, there's a little liquid in that one. Ooh, that one too. Um, we usually wanna drain those off every day. Otherwise, in the winter, you can get ice in your airlines and it is a hassle, but I got most of that worked out. 
um, there's an element here that heats the purge valve underneath that air filter. And you've got air brakes. So um, you don't have to have a commercial license to drive this thing, which is kind of cool. Or in some, in some ways, I guess that could be scary depending on who's driving. But uh, let's show you guys what this is all about. So this is a toolbox here. And then this is the operation center, I guess, for all the different function, functions of the air over hydraulic. So if we wanted to raise the cab, tilt it forward, always got to check and see if you've got anything in here that's going to go flying. And we're good. So we would put that to raise. I also rebuilt the hydraulic lock that holds the cab on. That was a disaster, throwing fluid all over the place and it wouldn't allow the cab to tilt forward. So took that all apart, rebuilt the seals in it. Oh yeah, I put a block heater in here too. That is the only way this thing is gonna start when it gets down below about 10 degrees, unless you're lucky. So this allows you to get into the Caterpillar engine and do some service. So we'll just stop it there. Uh, but then you can also see the spare tire. Um, it's a big rig, it's a lot of fun. Then if we want to drop this back down, we switch over to lower and it's, it wasn't opened all the way, so it'll just come on down by itself. And you'll hear some noise because uh, these guys hang up on the tire. That's why they're on cables, so they flex out past the tires. But the first time it always scares, it scares you because you think you're crushing something. Like that. So that's the LMTV. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it out on the trails today because I'm the only one here, but we will do that and get some more footage of it actually rolling through some uh, dirt and mud maybe and see if we can have some fun in it.